About two hours, we'll hear from Governor Mary Fallon about last night's failed execution of death row inmate Clayton Lockett. This morning, the Department of Corrections is investigating to find out what went wrong. DOC Director Robert Patton stopped the execution of McAllister last night when Lockett began convulsing and regained consciousness. He says there was a vein failure and the lethal injection chemicals didn't enter Lockett, who eventually died of a massive heart attack. Now Charles Warner, who was scheduled for execution two hours after Lockett, has a two-week stay while the state sorts out what happened. Two News reporter Brandon Richard joins us with reaction from Lockett's attorney and the potential legal fallout. Brandon. Dana Lockett's attorney not mincing words. He says prison officials are to blame for the failed execution. Now, the attorney was one of a handful of people allowed to witness the procedure. He calls the experience horrible. He says after the lethal injection started, his client kept trying to raise up and at one point said, quote, something's wrong. Earlier this year, Lockett's attorney, along with attorneys for Charles Warner, sued the state, arguing that the state should provide more information to them about the drugs used in the execution to make sure the punishment wasn't cruel and unusual. After the inmates lost that case, Lockett's attorney says the state rushed to get the execution over with. They wanted to hurry up and get it done with as little transparency as possible. This is what they get. There should not be another execution in this state until there's a full investigation into what went wrong. This morning, I also spoke with a TU law professor who specializes in capital punishment law and who's written extensively on the subject. She expects there to be additional legal battles as a result of what happened last night, and she says the investigation needs to take place outside the Department of Corrections. I do think that needs to be an independent investigation, and if it is not an independent investigation, I would assume there will be litigation related to that to assure that it's an impartial, independent investigation. And I also spoke with the Department of Corrections this morning. A spokesman tells me it's not clear who will lead the investigation or who will be part of that investigation. In the newsroom, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. All right, thank you, Brandon. And we'll be streaming Governor Mary Fallon's news conference live on KJRH.com today at 1 o'clock. We also have a crew in Oklahoma City, and we'll have much more on her statement and the investigation tonight on 2 News and 5 and 6.